Yo, 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 yo. What it is? Uh, well, back with it. See what I'm working on here. Uh, working, yep, yeah, somewhere, yeah. Finally, we get back with this dish. Uh, we had a couple weeks that I had to be back out waiting on the cylinders and stuff to get rebuilt. You know, like I said, it's cheaper to go through the cylinder shop than to rebuild them yourself. Uh, since we don't fall on a heap of ground, uh, I just decided to get them rebuilt. Uh, so that was what it was. So it kind of put me down for a little bit, but uh, it was a little early to be out here busting stuff open, in my opinion, for the little acres we got. So I had a little time to wait. But anyway, uh, out here currently, yeah, trying to see what we can get done. Uh, as you can see, got the gang drop. This gang right there. So, uh, got three new bands I'm gonna throw in this song. Gonna see what she do. All of them ain't bad except this one right here. It's uh, it's, it's past its prime in life. So we're gonna see if we can get. This thing to come apart pretty easy. If not, we're gonna be in for a fight. And uh should I be alright. We'll see what we got. But uh anyway, got it all pulled out, got these two sound guards pulled out here. Uh like I said, track the service up, do all service is got a little I it's not nothing wrong with it, but it's some welding I wanna do to it. And I also thought about putting some boards on the back of it, but I know they were using it to knock down roads before we bought it. So, you know, yeah, it is what it is. But uh, almost got this 6.30 ready. It rained last night, so I ain't gonna get to test it out. Probably till the weekend. That'll be probably about a week. Uh, I figure I can go to the field on some of the high spots, hit some of these high spots, and uh, I'm gonna hook that tractor up over there to this. And we're going to see what it can do. Uh, I really want to get a, another front wheel assist tractor to take some pressure off the 60 series because it really just don't make no sense to just run the 60 like that heavily. But, uh, you know, something, maybe another 60 series. I don't know. Something like 8,000 series. Tractors ain't cheap right now. Don't think they're going to be cheap for a while. But uh, anyway, I'll check back in with y'all here in a few. Maybe I'll give y'all some B-roll out here. Well, um, this project is going to stop today. Um, we need a, I don't have an inch impact to finish this, so I got to take this gang boat off, and I really don't feel like fighting it with a pit pipe wrench. Call me lazy for that when I got all these Milwaukee impacts around here. So what I'm going to do is go to the store tomorrow, and get a socket that'll fit my three quarter impact. And, you know, we'll go from there. I used to have access to an inch Milwaukee and no longer have access to that. So, that Milwaukee never fit. Inside, all the way on the inside. Everybody inside, always suck. You gonna break this on? Oh, that way. Keep the, keep the body young. Yeah, it's good. It's got a little pitting right there. It'd yeah, be all right. Let's see. Oh. We're almost there.
So, got the bearing off. And what I like to do, like to put these things in sequential order that they came off in. I know that was the first one, second one, third one, fourth, fifth, sixth. Step, you know, you get the picture. And then between that one is my bearing is my trouble bearing. Uh, my plan is to replace all three bearings in the line in the game. Um, now that actually ain't up to my standard, but this is not my 630. And although I've decided to put some money into this 630 of my own money, that wasn't agreed upon. Like I said, if this was sitting in the weed, I was totally just needed a bearing. And that's what I was going to do with the bearing. So, uh, if the owner want to put a new axle in it, I'll put a new axle in it. So they'll have a functioning disc when I'm through with it. But if not, which I doubt they're going to want to put a new axle in it, I'm going back up with it. So, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, I don't personally... If I got to tap something down like this, I'm going to tear it down and put it back together the right way as being that it was. Because I see something else in this axle that they must have hit something because it's got a slight bend in it. But, uh, yeah. It is what it is. Uh, that's probably why the bearing went out to begin with. Uh, but I could be wrong actually but hey uh got it back together uh little pro tip if you guys running milwaukee equipment uh when i went to tighten the game back up i didn't have my high output battery on that and i couldn't get it to tighten up with a fully charged regular bear so if you got one of them bigger Milwaukee guns and you always want to know, do the high output batteries make a difference? They dang sure do. They make a big difference. So, got a guy out here. I'm gonna get him to help me guide this thing back under the uh, disc. And I'm about to put, up, put the other nut on here. And we're gonna, I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit more. And I'm gonna see, we're gonna see what we got. 